Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking with Taz. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an amazing fish curry with palm fried. So this is my version of fish curry that I tried in my kitchen a few days ago and it turned out awesome and I wanted to share with you all. When I make fish curries, it's usually Kerala style. So if you're bored of the usual Kerala style fish curries, do give this recipe a try. You're going to love it. And uh, I usually cook fish curries in my clay pot, but this time I cook the fish curry in my cat cast iron pan. So if you don't have a cast iron pan, you can definitely cook it in a clay pan. For making this fish curry, first we need to roast the coconut along with all the other ingredients and grind it to a smooth paste and cook the fish in it. So it's going to be really exciting and delicious. So guys, let's get started. For making this curry, I'll be using whole golden palm frets. Uh, these were frozen, so I have defrosted the fish. So next I have to clean up the fish, uh, have to remove the internal organs and also the gills from the head. Uh, so put a slit on the side and um, you can pull off the internal organs and gently open the head and pull the gills out. It will come off pretty easily. From the side, I have uh, made a slit and I'm pulling the internal organs and the tissues. So pull everything out. The good thing about palm fret is that it doesn't have any scales. So we don't have to worry about removing the scales. Removing scales is a time consuming thing. So I have removed all the internal organs and uh, I'm not removing the fins or the tails. Uh, when I cook with whole chicken, I like to keep those. So next I'm adding uh, salt while cleaning the fish. Uh, I add some salt and then uh, rinse it well under running water. Rinse the inside and outside of the fish. Clean it uh, thoroughly. I have cleaned the fish thoroughly, looks so clean and fresh and this is one of my favorite fish. So next, yes, I have to wash my hands thoroughly as well and right away I also clean up the sink and the countertop so there won't be any fish order. Next, let's roast some ingredients. So I have placed my cast iron skillet over medium heat, I've added two tablespoon coconut oil. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, you can use a non-stick or ceramic pan. Or if you have a clay pot, you can use that as well. Um, so adding one teaspoon whole black pepper corns. Adding half cup coconut slices. So these were frozen. I have defrosted it. If you don't have coconut slices and if you have grated coconut, you can add that as well. Let's roast the coconut and pepper cones for a couple of minutes. We have to also add other ingredients. One inch slice fresh ginger chopped. So next adding two large garlic chopped. Two shallots sliced. Here is the shallot that I have used. This is a pretty big one. If you don't have shallots and if you have pearl onions or small onions, you can add that uh, around four of them. So roast everything for a few minutes. Adding one sprig curry leaves or like 10 curry leaves. Half tablespoon coriander seeds. So roast everything well uh, till the coconut and the shallots turn light golden in color. So this is going to take a few minutes. So the coconut and shallots have turned light golden, adding half teaspoon turmeric powder and roast everything for a minute. Everything has roasted well after adding turmeric powder. It got that beautiful golden color. So remove the pan from the heat and let cool down. So the coconut and shallots have cooled down. Next, let's transfer to a blender jar and grind it into a smooth paste. So add everything to the blender jar. Let's add one cup water and grind this into a smooth paste. Here is the ground paste, so keep this aside. So next, let's soak tamarind in water. So I've taken three in slice um, fresh tamarind, adding quarter cup warm water, lukewarm water, and let this soak for five minutes. So after five minutes, I am squeezing the tamarind in water to extract the juice. So mix it well in water and we are going to strain this water. So that will be our tamarind extract. 
Let's start making the fish curry. So I've placed my cast iron skillet over medium heat, adding one tablespoon coconut oil. If you have clay pot, please use that. Uh, no, clay pots are ideal for making fish curries and it will taste really delicious. So after the oil has turned hot, adding one teaspoon mustard seeds. So let the mustard seeds splutter. Half teaspoon fenugreek seeds. If you don't have fenugreek seeds, you can skip it. Next, adding a few curry leaves, like 10 leaves. So roast everything for a few seconds. Do not burn the fenugreek seeds. So the pan is really hot. So next, let's add the ground paste. So this is our fabulous aromatic ground coconut shallots, ginger garlic paste. Add that. Rinse the blender jar with some water. There is some paste stuck to the jar and add that water to the pan. After adding water, the gravy has thinned down. Uh, so combine it well and cook it for a few minutes. Adding around one and a half teaspoon salt or as per your needs. Next, adding the fresh tamarind extract. So I have uh, drained the tamarind juice. So add that. This is around quarter cup. So mix it well and let this uh, come to a slight rolling boil. The gravy has started to boil. So now it's time to add our fish. I'm adding whole small golden palm fret. Uh, you can literally add any kind of fish of your choice. Uh, kingfish, sardines, red snapper, uh, even salmon can be added. Um, so I have uh, added three whole golden palm fret. Cover the pan with a lid and let's cook this for a few minutes till the fish has uh, cooked well. So it will only take a few minutes. After five minutes of cooking, I'm opening the lid and uh, stirring the gravy and making sure the fish is not stuck to the bottom. So after every like three minutes of cooking, just open the lid and give it a gentle stir. I have cooked this curry for 15 minutes so the gravy has started to thicken and the fish has cooked perfectly. There's a beautiful blend of all the flavors, aromas and the spices. So this is perfect. Uh, so next, uh, remove the pan from the heat. Towards the very end, garnishing with some curry leaves and uh, going to drizzle a teaspoon of pure coconut oil. So that's it. So keep this covered for at least 15 minutes as it sits. This fish curry will taste even more delicious. Here is my version of fish curry with palm fret. So you can literally add any kind of fish of your choice. So guys, do give this recipe a try and let me know your feedback. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be back with more unique and exciting recipes. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.